All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And today, we're, we're kind of just kind of skip the intro and stuff for today because I want to get right into this. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet or not because uh, it is in-game as of right now. We're currently looking uh, on my screen at the in-game notice too as well as it's also been broadcast on Twitter and stuff. But essentially, Square Enix has hit a new low. <laughs> Uh, before I say anything else, I'll go ahead and talk about uh, what this is, okay? So as of right now, and I think this must have been an accidental leak or something that's supposed to come out later tonight in a notice uh, because the date is actually stated as uh, for tomorrow. Yet, I mean, today's the 10th, not the 11th. So I think this must have been an accident of some sort for them to have, like, given us the notice but there's been no announcement about it on online and like the social media and stuff but so i'm not sure what happened here but essentially it looks like we're going to be getting a blue fairy deal uh tomorrow that only lasts for two days in which you have a chance to get a tier eight medal uh within 10 pulls of the banner okay uh, it should also be stated that the banner itself costs 3,000 jewels and you're guaranteed the mercy pull of a tier 8 medal on the 10th pull, of course, okay? You're guaranteed a tier 5 blue fairy medal every single pull, but the rest can be anywhere from tier 3 and up. To me, I legitimately don't know how to explain or describe, like, just how, like, disgusting this is. Like it's it, like in like furious or like annoyed isn't even a good enough word because this is just straight up a pure money grab, <laughs> period. All right, um, no one, no one, like I don't see anybody in their right mind actually wanting to get this like pull from this banner. Okay, the fact that it's a ten mercy ten mercy draw first of all for a tier for one tier eight fairy medal. Okay, which you need five of to even like evolve a tier eight medal in the first place. That's disgusting. All right, you don't even get a full set of tier eight medals. You have to pull ten times for one copy. Um, in a monetary aspect, that's like that's about two hundred dollars. In at least over here in the U.S., that's about two hundred dollars to mercy pull this one banner just to get one tier eight blue fairy medal. Okay. On top of the fact that it also lasts for two days, so that means you can uh, do it a second time on the second day if you really, really wanted to, for a second tier A Blue Fairy Medal. I, like, I, I don't know about you guys, but at least the way I see it, I don't care how rich you are. You are literally crazy, okay, if you think that spending 400 bucks or more... Uh, Depending how many jewel, if you're like flat broke, you might spend like an extra forty bucks because of the fact that Square Enix loves to just short you of you know a few a few jewels short of actually being able to get like an actual complete fifth pull in their jewels. Like if we go to the jewels uh, section, okay, yeah, their their hundred dollar option right here is fourteen thousand seven hundred jewels. That is three hundred jewels short of being able to actually do a complete fifth pull. Uh, on a regular 3k jewel uh, banner all in an effort to just make you go and spend an extra few bucks because of the fact that like you know 100 bucks isn't isn't enough it's it's absolutely disgusting it's quite obviously a completely bait attempt to just make us spend even more money on something that we shouldn't really be spending money on in the first place okay i don't know about you guys uh, but it's not enticing or fun at all whatsoever to spend money on an evolution material, all right? It's not even a metal. It's an evolution material, right? Something that should be naturally built in-game as a reward uh, or something for us to actually obtain within the game without having to spend any money or jewels at all whatsoever, all right now pvp itself okay the rewards and tier brackets are already absolute trash <laughs> in terms of how they're those like that's being sorted out but at least like it follows that trend of the evolution materials being an in-game reward uh for something that you've attained now granted to do very well in the first place if you weren't already uh, a top player at the very beginning of pvp 
uh, kind of like how I was to be able to maintain that status even without having to be a whale. Uh, basically, you need to be a whale, <laughs> more or less, in order to get top status within PvP, okay? Or get very lucky, one of the two. You can argue more or less that PvP is somewhat a pay to pay to win uh, type of mode as of right now, okay? Not for everybody, because like I said before, there are some people like myself that can still manage to do well. Uh, or if you get lucky enough with your tier, with your silver tickets, and you can actually evolve like tier eight medals and stuff, you can actually spike up to the top as well. But that doesn't happen to too many people. And for those of us that have been keeping up with all the social media stuff, uh, you've basically been seeing all over the place how everyone, absolutely everyone, has been complaining about the fact and like screaming at Square Enix to please make uh, the fairies, or at least tickets, available outside of PvP. And what is Square Enix's response? Instead of going along with what was naturally what we expected as like the players of the game, uh, which would be, and we've actually stated before in other comments and stuff too, to please put them like as like uh, raid boss rewards, for example, for like during ra raid weeks, or to even put them in PVE rewards and stuff, okay? Just any sort of, any other competitive type of environment, put them in as rewards for that too. But no, okay, they want to put them behind paywalls. Uh, the silver ticket for the VIP deal that came out like, a few that was announced like a few days ago or something like the beginning of this week that was eh. i mean it's a silver ticket and silver tickets at this point are practically trash because they give us like mostly tier three fairies um which we already get enough of in bronze tickets so that was kind of questionable the gold ticket for collecting a seven star version of all four uh, incredibles medals that's ridiculous uh, that's also illegal in Japan, I should let you know. That's called, if you want to go ahead and look it up, it's called the Kampu Gacha Law. It is like, it's literally illegal in Japan. But because of the fact they know that the rest of the world doesn't have that type of law in state, in, like, in, like in, in place, they're okay with doing it in the global version of the game. Like, it's, it's completely disgusting. Um, not acceptable at all whatsoever, especially as a console gamer myself. Uh, and which I'm also assuming is going to be a vast majority of the fan base as well are coming from being console players. Uh, like, cause primarily because of the fact that Kingdom Hearts, just in general as a series, has always been on a console platform. Um, and that Union Cross is the first game in the entire series to actually be on mobile. So this, like, to, at least to me, this is just completely unacceptable. It's not worth it, okay, for anybody, really. Uh, not for anybody who's not a whale. And even for whales, chances are you probably already got some pretty good, decent uh, tier 8, 7-star uh, medals anyways that you don't really need to spend 400 or more bucks to just get two copies of a tier 8 fairy medal. Yeah. Other than that, like, I, I, I kind of just wanted to vent my frustration a little bit. I know this was pretty much a big uh, rant, but, like, this this is not okay. This is not okay at all, uh, Square Enix. Please don't ever do anything like this again. It, like, if anything, you just continue to uh, prove to me that you deserve as a one-star review uh, on the App Store. Heck, if I, was, if I even had the option to, I would give you a straight-up zero-star review as well. Because, like, this... The route that you've been going these last few months, ever since second anniversary, has just been absolute crap. And it's just not okay as a passionate, like, Kingdom Hearts fan. But, other than that, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comment section down below. Uh, again, I apologize. This I know this was a bit of a rant, uh, but I do feel like it's pretty justified. But, other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.